I mean, with the common thing, the traffic pattern has probably been the biggest thing. It's been a lot of focus. I feel like it's it's kind of pulled us away from doing some of the other things that we want to do. So I appreciate all of y'all's help. Okay, uh, but Lisa Rogan and Kate Fallon have been out in the front every single day uh, with us from the beginning, helping kids get across the street, helping the buses coming in, putting their bodies on the line after the traffic. <laughs> all those crazy parents that have to turn left, don't tell them to turn right, make a U turn because they're not going to. All right, so I thank y'all too for being out there. <laughs>
Yes, I think we have time for one more. If somebody would like to share. Um, I did a uh, seating chart based on like questionnaire of if kids think they're like a facilitator or a scribe, like a job. And I, I had a kid who told me I don't, I'm not going to do any of these, and I don't like any of these. Um, and he showed that he didn't care if I was talking, he would be talking, and I put him as a facilitator. <laughs> and he, he did great, his group was the best group today. <laughs> Emily, wonderful job. Okay. Oh, oh, we have one more. Okay. Okay, Christy, I'll meet you. <laughs> so this is sort of like not going to sound right, but yesterday, Atlanta should have been attending Sylvan, but luckily he didn't have to. Their power was out. And so that helped because we went to Walmart together, and he asked me, Mommy, can I stop at the technology department and look? And I'm like, sure, you know. I always fall for that. And but the good thing about it is is that when he stopped, we've got all these VR headsets that I can use in my coding advisory group for two and three dollars each. And I was able to don't worry, I bought them all. No, no. Um, but uh, there were still tons of them there. And um, that way my kids, whenever they design something for the animation, we can try and implement it in a VR format and they will get to see it firsthand. So I thought that was exciting. Yay! I just want to um, commend everyone at this school and this school because the behavior program that you have, the discipline program in place is amazing. Um, I have a reading lab, so I have seventh and eighth graders and, you know, they struggle with reading and um, kind of interrupting me a little bit, side conversations, which when it's a class of six, and there's a side conversation that's, you know, 50% of the class. So today we, we had a talk about shenanigans and tomfoolery and what Ms. Hecker doesn't put up with. And all I did was talk about the charge sheet. Is that the charge sheet, and that was it. I talked about it for like a minute. No problems all day. I got it. I got it. So thank you, thank you. All right, is there anyone here that would be willing to be a writer? A writer, like give us a one to ten on how our meeting with today? Anybody? Thank you. And, and a farmer, someone to affirm our processes and, you know, do something nice. Anybody a farmer? Let's see, who's getting voluntold today? Thank you, Miss Look. I appreciate you. Okay, guys, so now we're going to actually get into the communicate part of our lesson. And I wouldn't, I wouldn't definitely, I wouldn't say that kind of stuff with kids, but just I'm modeling what we want to do. So it's time to start our social contracts. Everybody get excited. Woo! So we came up with a schedule. Monday is ILA, because we don't want to burn the kids out, y'all. If we do it all on the same day, the kids are going to be like social media. I've heard some cool ideas so far, too, of how people are, uh, I guess, displaying them. Uh, but Monday's ILA, Tuesday is science, Wednesday is electives, Thursday's math, and Friday is social studies. So just kind of giving y'all the beats on that. And I'm going to fly through some of this stuff, and then some of this stuff I'll spend some you know, time on. Meet the teacher is next week. It's on Thursday. Guys, I didn't know my first year everybody had to be a meet the teacher. I didn't know that. Oh, my God. Everybody needs to be at Meet the Teacher. It's from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. So please make arrangements for child care and things like that so that, you know, you're available to be present for our uh, students and families. Um, we're going to do the same thing we've been doing for the last few years with the rotations. And so you'll get this release. But basically on the day of, in advisory, you'll have your great club students fill out this, you know, little thing that says the room number, the name of the teacher, the name of the class. So each kid will fill this out so that their parents can follow their schedule and then they'll take it home to their parents. We're asking that kids not come to meet the teacher. They've already met you. <laughs> and we just don't have enough seats to be able to accommodate, you know, a thousand kids and a thousand parents. So we'll be sending out that communication. Guys, also, here's the parent information that we're sending out. 
So it just tells them, you know, kind of what to do, that they got to follow our bail schedule. So, but you know, some parents, they'll show up at like seven and be like, I'm going to hit all these classes. No, you're not. you got 10 minute increments. Guys, for our new teachers, please don't get cornered. Like if they start getting crazy or, you know, trying to make you discuss specific stuff, encourage them to set an appointment. You know, like this is a public forum. I'm really sorry, but you know, email me and I'll get you an appointment. And then if they keep doing it, start walking. <laughs> Walk out of your classroom. Do not let them corner you. And then somebody in the hallway will have your back. You know, there will be an experienced teacher, administrator, something in the hallway. Because during that little five minute passing period, you get out of your classroom so that you don't get cornered into personal conversations. Because they will. They try to make that the conference. And I'm like, uh, not appropriate. We're not doing this because you just don't want to keep their privacy. So just, we'll send out more information. I know that I think during English classes, since it's double blocked, uh, the English teachers helped us out by going over some procedures or something. We'll get that part together, but I just wanted to make sure y'all had the format. And I know we also have PowerPoints and stuff from last year, so we're gonna do much, pretty much lots of the same. Uh, so moving on from that. Okay, so Friday, and guys, I put the link in there now, but don't sign up. You gotta sign up for your T-test goal setting. I said Friday because that gives all three of us time to make sure that the spreadsheet actually matches the calendar. So you'll need, and I'll, maybe we can send out an email reminder or something on Friday, but I wanna release it all to y'all at the same time because you know, you have people mad like, man, I want it this time. Remember, don't type over somebody else's name, that's not nice. So look, it happens, I'm serious. So basically what it looks like, and I just wanna remind y'all, is you'll get this, and then at the bottom, because somebody will say, I only see Max. Well, you gotta click the other tab to get to Fulton and McDonald's schedule. And remember, it's a three-step process. So you'll get an email from your appraiser about it, but I just wanted to remind you again, and say Friday, if you can do it before you leave on Friday, you'll have all day. We'll release the link probably early in the morning or something. That way everybody will have the opportunity to do it. All right, some people have been asking me about duty in Canvas. McDonald, you're up. So our after school duty, everything's in Canvas. You click on it. I've updated it like three or four times. So thank you all to the wonderful people out there. Um, it's greatly appreciated. We might be moving some more of our duty stations around <laughs> where our locations are based on this new traffic pattern. It's a nightmare, so. Anyway, where our needs are is where we might be, but I will communicate that individually with you, sending you an email. But our duty stations are on Canvas. It's updated. It tells you in the description where to go and what to do. So if you have a question, read that. If you still don't understand, then come and see me, please, and I will help clarify that. But read that first in Canvas. And guys, thank you for your flexibility, because I'm telling you, if you talk to the admin team and you mention traffic pattern, that's like a cuss word. <laughs> like, for real, the other day until midnight, and I was like, cuss, cuss, since I couldn't say what I wanted to say. So, just know that when we're talking about that, thank you for your flexibility, because this has not been easy. I told them I was getting pumped, because I'm new, and they just did what they wanted to do. But anyway, uh, Mastery Connect. So, guys, we are still in the contract signing phase. We're waiting on the powers that be to give us the whatever. We've already signed part of oh, Wait, are we good? Yes! all day. Yay, Malin! So, thank you! Guys, this has been a fun process trying to get it going because there's so many schools that jumped on board and are trying to do it and trying to partner and all this stuff. It's been fun. So we've been every day just calling the people of Master Connect trying to get more information. So just know that it is coming so don't lose hope and that some of you might have access. I know all of our new people probably don't but it will be working great. It's just give us a little bit more time. Uh, sub plans, Fulton, or Ring, or anybody that has anything to say about subs. All right, so I'm going to be getting with Ring. We're going to be working together on a document to share. All right, and then we'll be posted to Canvas. Right now, I don't even think y'all can see the substitute tab on Canvas, but that is coming. Just make sure, yes, by Friday, that you have emergency sub plans turned into that red folder that is in your box with updated rosters. 
make sure with your emergency plan um, in the room, in that little folder that you have updated rosters and those as well, I sent all of you an email saying, hey, there is going to be a drill this week at some point. This is the only time I'm warning you all year. We have to do a lot before October, so just be ready. I'm sorry in advance. Um, so just make sure all of your sub information is updated. If you have emergency sub plans going. Um, I did with Sissy, I gave today the um, sub duty hotspot. Yes. Yes. I have it ready for you. Yes, there it is. So uh, make sure that you have that ready for your subs too so they know where they're going. I've had to help a few subs find their way around and show them where the hotspots are. Um, but I mean, that's what you should. I just want to add one more thing. Maybe there's something that we can start to add one point. Yeah, I want to do that. So update the subject in grade level that you are teaching. Um, in ASAP so that when subs are clicking on those jobs, um, they know what they're signing up for, especially if you need to all have moved grade levels or have the split grade levels um, so that um, subs know. Also, if you feel like if you're leaving school on Wednesday and you're like, man, what a week, I'm starting to feel sick, I might not be here tomorrow, go ahead and put it in ASOP. Um, I mean, we need mental breaks, I get it. Uh, just make sure you have all of that stuff taken care of so we aren't scrambling the day of to try to fill those positions, um, get the plans and all that stuff. And if you need to cancel, it's okay. People embellish what your job is to make it sound good, people will pick it up. <laughs> 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 I, I like this, it's easy out of the best. I mean, if you want mm -hmm. people to pick up your job, make it sound great. Now don't lie, but something that I love to do, I love like, like in a little baggie like some crackers and like a little water bottle and just like a thank you note I when I knew I was going to be absent and that helped subs come back to me and then I didn't have to leave a snack every time <laughs> <laughs> and, but I made sure every, most of the time to leave one so there's there is a, a, a little idea for those of you who are like man nobody's picking up my job to say you have snacks and then if you don't have snacks <laughs> come to me and I'll help you get something <laughs> all right Thank you. Uh, a quick blurb about attendance. ILA teachers, please make sure that you take attendance every period. I know some of you have been doing it, but then new teachers would have told them. I didn't tell them. Uh, guys, it is very, very important. See, with all of these changes at the district level and the state level, there's some audit stuff that's happening. And yeah, when they start mentioning audit, I'm like, please, don't get us in trouble. So just make sure when you hear that second bell, please, 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 just stop what you're doing. Take attendance so that Sonya doesn't have to call you. Because then she'll be like hunting you down like a bill collector. And nobody <laughs> wants to be called like a bill collector. Yes, ma'am. That's a real good question. Um, I've been trying to figure this out. Is there an e-school app where we can take attendance? Mm -hmm. Any teachers have e-school app? Because I used to always take attendance on my Anyway, I appreciate the second bell because I'm the kind who goes, Yes, ma'am. Um, yeah. Campus technology person, who's that? Sarah? It's Bell. Sarah is Bell. <laughs> And cell phone buzz, well, in cafeteria, that's what I do to, to remind myself I set an alarm so that I can always. So, whatever system works for you, just please take attendance. So, because it's like one Sonia and it's like 60 something plus people going off at one time. So, when she's having to stop and call y'all, you know, other stuff can be missed. So, thanks. Learning Lab. Guys, I have to be real transparent. I have not sat down the bar to get the procedures. So, you have not gotten procedures. And Jennifer. We will do it and we will get it to you. Guys, that's the top thing on my to-do list because I want to make sure that clarity precedes competence. If I'm not even clear on the procedures, how do we expect y'all to be clear on the procedures? So I own any of that. Anything that's happened with Learning Lab, put the blame on me, charge the head, that's part. We've been doing traffic. Not an excuse, that's, that's the reality. And so we are going to work through that because the Learning Lab is there to support us. So we've got to make sure that everybody is clear on what's going on. So just Hang tight before Monday. I will have something to y'all about learning lab and procedures and all of that. So thanks for hanging tight with us. I'm full disclosure. You see my whole hand of cards. Uh, let's see. Y'all will get this link of Admin Week Advisory because right now y'all are going through um, counselor or no PBIS. Guys, please.
please remember, when y'all are getting these advisory lessons, the kids snitch on you if you're not doing it. I am not even kidding. They'll be like, Miss, can you tell me more about these Ram Bucks? Because I ain't heard nothing about it. But old boy over there said, I'm telling you, y'all, they snitch. And they need the information. So please, if you have not been doing it, don't tell me. Please don't tell me. But fix it. <laughs> Go backwards. Make sure they have what they need. Guys, y'all are like the first line of defense. Y'all are building relationships, but y'all are also um, setting expectations and showing them what to do. Guys, I will tell y'all, my own child came home and she said, I don't know about this club you signed me up for. I mean, oh, here we go. And she goes, I only talk about is roach procedures. And I said, how come to your teacher? She is doing what she's supposed to be doing. Yes. So I'm like, the club stuff comes later. But, um, you know, just seriously, y'all, that is so important because if we are not clear with them, we can't expect them to do what they're supposed to be doing. And it's not fair if they've not been shown. So just be intentional about that. So Monday, you'll start going through the agenda. That's the handbook. That's the student handbook stuff. So you'll start going through all of that stuff on Monday. And Courtney's going to send out, like, PowerPoints on y'all do this and y'all do that. So y'all look out for a message for Courtney before the end of the week. Uh, Wednesday, you'll talk about dress code and finish the agendas. Thursday, safety and security PowerPoint. Uh, fire drill, lockdown. It's like the safety and security uh, thing. You have to link. Like you're gonna play a video, so make sure you got sound. Yes, ma'am. On Thursday, they're doing the schedule for me to teach night too. They'll have enough time for everything. They should, because okay. the the video is like 11 minutes, and the schedule yeah. that should take them like two minutes unless they well. Okay, I'm not gonna say that. Um, Make sure you do the safety and security video and make sure that you do the um, meet the teacher stuff. And then if you have to, you know, push some of that stuff down on Friday, you can if you run out of time. So kind of just, you know, see how it's going. But basically, so you'll see the links with all the stuff of things you're going to be talking about each day. And it gives you some more icebreakers if you run out of time. The whole point in y'all having those advisories that y'all have is to build relationships with those kids. So anytime you have downtime, Take a peek into their world. Find out what's going on with them. Get to know them a little bit better. Okay, I'm going to show y'all this document. I probably shouldn't, but I'm going to do it anyway. Okay, so everybody's been asking me about meetings for the year. And we can have a little bit of a discussion, but... Oh, that's a... That pink don't look good on there. I'll send it out differently. Okay, so I'm going to do a different kind of calendar that has all the days and then what's happening on the days. But I just... I'm going to be honest, I just copy Terry's format and roll with it. Because everybody's not a part of the BLT. Everybody's not a part of, you know, this, that, or the other. But then if you, let me see if I can scroll over. I want to try to know all the CIT committee dates and all the staff meeting dates, all your technology, which your first one is Friday. Everybody get excited. Woo! Get ready to learn Canvas. So anyway, this is one of the formats, but I'm also going to send a different format a little bit later that may be... I guess more user friendly because I've gotten some feedback that said we don't like that. I said okay, I'll do something else. So this will be a link soon, broken down by date. Now, guys, the facilities calendar. That's the way you don't know what's going on around here, except for the rampage, which we'll get to the rampage a little bit later. But it is so important that you add the facilities calendar. Malin sent out an email on that twentieth that gave you like detailed instructions, but Courtney says she's going to send out something else again to make sure. I, I will send out the, the the cheats on how to add the facilities calendar again like I do about three times a year. People kind of say what's on the facilities calendar. Uh, so I'll send that out to y'all so you can add that calendar to your calendar and you can look at it. If you've added it, then you can leave my emails. Yeah. So if you already have access, Ignore everything we're saying. Um, now, one of the discussions that we need to have about the facilities calendar, I know Terry had it set up to where, I guess Malin will send out a calendar invite to everything on the facilities calendar. Where that got tricky is people start declining, like, all the stuff. So every time you decline, Malin gets emails saying, this person declined it. So she's getting like, you know, 20, 30 declines for each event. So it kind of blows up her inbox. Um, and then she's like, well, do I need to say something about them declining? Does the principal know? She don't want to be in the middle of all of that, you know, because she don't want to look like a snitch. You know, come and say, Miss Matt, let's decline your invite. 
you know. <laughs> so I just kind of wanted to see if anybody is super passionate about making sure that those things are still put on by the land, because if you are, we'll consider it. But if not, we get you access to the facilitator calendar and you can forward it to your own calendar, only the stuff you need. Because everybody's not a part of BLT. Everybody's not a part of this. Everybody, you know, so I don't know. I'm trying to get a post from y'all. Y'all gotta speak up and tell me what you need. So if you pull up your calendar and the facilities calendar at the same time, you just drag that over and it automatically goes onto your calendar. I don't know if you do that or not. And then you don't have to accept or decline the lens. Right. So just pull them both up at the same time and look at the two calendars. You can drag it. Now please don't drag your stuff onto the facility calendar. <laughs> okay, I'll that. I mean, and, and guys, this is seriously, this is one of those, um, I don't know if I talk to y'all about MYOD, like my decision, your decision, our decision. It's one of them, I don't care. So I'm just, I just need to know, like, you know, if y'all are okay with, like, y'all doing your own, or if there's people that object, like, speak now, or ever hold the peace. Crickets. So we're good. <laughs> If you can't, yes. If you can't. Drag your stuff over and then just go around. If it's not easy, then we'll 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 go back. Can We're I not gonna be like the stuff of traffic folks. Can I say one other thing about the facilities code? So Malone and I are working on this whole school new event manager new system that the district has come up with. So um, we've run into some technical glitches, like they wouldn't let us put stuff on the calendar after September. I mean they're not now it's good. So we're working through that, but we have to put anything that has air now that doesn't go on the facilities calendar, has to go on the school dude. School dude event manager calendar or the whole district. And uh, so we're working on having that calendar talk to our facilities calendar so we don't have to double and triple input stuff and the Google calendar. So please bear with us. Maybe give us a couple of weeks as we try to get stuff on there. But everything that's on the facilities calendar, they were driving over for me, so I pretty much have almost everything on there. Uh, but there might be a few things, like if you're asking for things to be put on right now, you're not going to see it on the facilities calendar because we're supposed to put it in the school booth thing first. So just bear with us on that. Give us a couple weeks. But all of the things are going to be over on the And that leads us to the rampage. So y'all, seriously, the rampage is like, there's a parent edition and then there's a teacher edition. And I can't tell y'all how long it takes to create that thing. I was <laughs> like, Terry, I'm not living my best life. She actually helped me for the one for next week. Cause I was like, this is a long time. Guys, please, I know that sometimes you might not get in until Friday, right at the end of school or, you know, on the weekend. If you could read that by first period on Monday, I will not put a whole bunch of stuff in there that you don't need. I'll be real intentional about what makes the rampage. But guys, seriously, we 